Oh, I really hope that happens. Mm -hmm. I'm That's rooting for this. Me too. That'd yeah. be so great. Look at all those girls mm -hmm. out there yep. just loving basketball, just yeah. like the boys do. Mm -hmm. And imagine the ripple effect to mm -hmm. years and years and years yep. down the road. These girls, mm -hmm. they could say, well, it's because that team came to my mm -hmm. city. That's what inspired me. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Good play for the team yeah. in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, you can. 100%. <laughs> all right. Time now for the morning mix. Life can throw a lot your way, but it's important to better yourself and others by the end of your life. Actress Jane Fonda is opening up on her honest feelings of regrets and even death. Fonda was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in September, and in a recent interview with CNN's Chris Wallace, the 85-year-old said she think it's important. She thinks it's important to end life without many regrets. Adding, one of her only regrets in life is not knowing how to be a better parent to her kids. She said, working in her organization, the Georgia Campaign for Adolescent Pregnancy Prevention, has actually helped her study what good parenting is supposed to look like. Now, the Grace and Frankie actress also said she is not afraid of death. Rather, she feels death is an adventure. Mm. Mm. Which is an interesting outlook on the usual thing, that life is an adventure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I feel like she just kind of put a spin on that. Yeah, that and earlier. that's something I would, I mean, yeah. live your life. Yeah. It's so short, mm -hmm. you know, go out and enjoy things, and then that hopefully will not allow you to regret it yeah. when you yeah. get older, you know, yeah. in life. Somebody once told me, because I know I joke about it all the time, just my fear of planes, but it really has stopped me from traveling a lot. And somebody mm. once told me, was like, well, what are you so afraid of? I'm like, I'm afraid of a plane falling, you know, sure. and dying. And she, she was like, why are you scared of dying? I was like, I'm scared that I won't get to do everything I wanted to do. Mm. And then she said, well, if you don't get on that plane, you won't be able to do oh, anything. Oh, wow. Full yeah. circle yeah. on you, Jocelyn. Yeah. 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 I like that. Yeah. yeah. So yes. I think, yeah, I mean, we talk about her, but I think she has a really good point yeah. of living life without no regrets. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And hard to do. I mean, especially as the older you get, you look back on your younger years and you think, wow, what I could have told my 16-year-old self yep. yeah. than what I know now. Like, yeah. certain things just don't even matter, yeah. you right. know? Right. So keeping that in perspective as mm -hmm. well. Well, fans of White Lotus, listen up. An interview with culture, with vulture actor and stuntman Johnny Knoxville might have actually slipped a bit with some new information, leaving audiences mm, a little bit of a tip here, knowing where the next season is going to be set. So the White Lotus and the creator of the show... Uh, it was brought up in the interview, and Knoxville said, quote, Mike White is a very close friend of mine. He and I have been in Tokyo together. I think that's where the next, oh, and then he stops. I'm not going to give anything away. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Japan might be the next setting in HBO's Emmy-winning anthology series. The first season took place in Maui and the second in Sicily. So I think Tokyo would be a little bit yeah. of a departure, yeah. of more of the relaxing mm -hmm. type of vacation spots that they've picked. But Mike White, who is the creator, he did mention the Far East as mm. potentially being the location for the okay. third season. So mm. it could, I mean... Knoxville's a prankster, but he could be on to something. Yeah, Ooh. we'll see. I'm still mad I haven't seen the series. How have you not seen I know, the show? I know, I haven't seen I haven't the either. series. Like, I'm a little confused when you're talking yeah. about <laughs> saying it's in this place, <laughs> we may be in the other place. But it's getting a lot of attention on social media. A lot of people are watching it. So and I need to, yeah. yeah. True. I so need we to need to watch it. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it's, it's cringy. Yeah. Like okay. there are po it's uncomfortable, but it's interesting hmm. and the acting is phenomenal. Okay. Yeah. All right, to check this out, Disney's Big Hero 6 features a city called San Francisco. It smashes hmm. Tokyo and San Francisco together to create something fresh and new and soon you could actually visit. Disney is already starting to transform the Pacific Wharf. That's the area at California Adventure uh, where they're turning it into this futuristic city. The site will feature the San Francisco, that's hard to say, square, the San Francisco Gate Bridge, and Disney's versions of SF cuisine like sourdough bread, ice cream sundaes, and a mix of Asian and Mexican dishes. So the park says San Francisco will be finished and ready to go, wow, by the summer. Wow. So just a few that's more cool. months. I, this Interesting. Is, I love this movie. Have you guys seen Big Hero 6? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do the boys it, love it? The boys love it. Put it on the list. But it, you will cry in the first 10 minutes. Oh, I don't want really? to watch it then. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's very, it, it leads you to the story. And it's always, it's Disney. It's got a heartwarming yeah. ending. Mm -hmm. But there, it's really touching, the relationship mm -hmm. of brothers and family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really worth seeing. So I'm kind of excited that they're going to create that yeah. California adventure. That'll be fun. Ah, and then I think it also just enhances and really, you know, emphasizes the culture that we have mm -hmm. here in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. it's going to attract a lot of people. It is. Mm -hmm. That really. futuristic vibe. Yeah. yeah. It should be cool. Yeah.